Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, man. It's you. I'm so excited to share God's word with you this morning. I want to talk to you from Isaiah 26, 3. 26, 3. It says, he will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him because he has trusted in him. And I want to talk to you about this word peace because I think oftentimes we get confused. We think peace is the byproduct of our circumstance or our situations. And that's not true. You can be in the worst situations and have peace because it is not a byproduct of what you're walking through. Peace is a byproduct of your relationship with the Lord. Peace is a byproduct of trusting God. That's why the verse says he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he's trusted in him. See, peace is a byproduct of trusting and relying on the Lord Jesus Christ. If you think peace comes in your circumstances, I'm going to tell you, child of God, you will never have peace because your circumstance will never indicate peace. It'll never bring you peace. But the scripture is clear that God himself will keep you in perfect peace because your mind is stayed on him. When our minds are on the things of God and our minds are on the promises of God and our minds are on the character of God, peace is the byproduct of that. And so, child of God, I want to challenge you today to get your mind on the things of God. I don't know what you're walking through. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what circumstances before you, but I want to tell you that it doesn't matter what it is. It matters that God is for you and God is with you. And because of that, you can have peace in the worst circumstance. There are people that walk through atrocities and they have peace. You know why? Because their minds are steadfast on the Lord. So God sustains them. And then they have perfect peace. They're not, they're not walking around fragmented or lost or confused. God is holding them up and they can look and, and respond in a way that is godly because peace is on them because their minds are on the Lord. See, when you remember the character of God, when you remember the word of God, he's able to sustain you. He's able to hold you. And then perfect peace becomes how you walk and how you live. As I want to challenge you today, if you feel un, unrest in your spirit, if you feel overwhelmed by what you're walking through, if you feel discouraged and defeated, I want to ask you, where is your mind? What are you thinking about? Who are you allowing to have top place in your thoughts? Because if there's anything else besides the Lord, you won't have perfect peace. But if your mind is steadfast on the Lord, you'll have perfect peace regardless of what you're walking through. The scripture says, because you've trusted in him, he will sustain you. And so I want to challenge you today. God wants his people to walk in peace. Regardless of what's going on, he wants you to walk in peace. So I'm going to challenge you today to put your mind on him. Steadfast. What does that mean? Not moving. Consistent. Steadfast on the Lord. And peace will be the byproduct of that. And so I'm going to challenge you this week to learn to be steadfast in the Lord. To learn to trust him in every circumstance. Regardless of what you see and what you feel. And I promise you, you will be covered with God's perfect peace. And so all that pray today for everyone in the sound of my voice. I pray that God, if there's, their mind is on anything but you and your character and your word, that you would challenge them, that you would check them, that you would bring their heart in alignment with your word and with your promises and with your character. And Father, I pray that you cover them with your perfect peace, that you would sustain them as they trust you, that peace would cover them, God, and that you would guide them and that your peace would lead them every morning, God. I pray you anoint them this week. You watch over them. You strengthen them and you encourage them, God. Lord, we trust you today. We trust your character. We trust your word. We trust your promises. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody.